Hello everybody, so about two months ago I uploaded a video that was just my test of motion tracking in HitFilm 4 Express. And it was kinda popular, especially for this very little channel, and few people asked how to do it. So here it is. How to do motion tracking in HitFilm 4 Express. First, when you open HitFilm and import all footage you want to track, you have to click on Make Composite Shot. Now, as we want text nicely following this cup, we have to add new text layer. After that, click on Video, Tracks and run that plus icon. If you have screen with proportion 4x3, you have to kinda unfold it. Now, at step 1, you can choose between two types of tracking, single point and double points. Difference is basically in the names of these two. Single point will apply only position. Double points will also apply to scale and rotation based on how the points are moving. I don't really know the difference between optical flow and template match, but optical flow is default option and I never changed it. Now you need to find a characteristic point at your video that can be tracked. When you do this, you have to press this triangle and hopefully everything will be done at first run. If not, tracking will pause automatically and you'll see that you need to adjust tracking for few frames and let it go again. If your footage is very sharp, you probably don't have to worry about problems while tracking. Now everything is done and we can go to step 2. Apply to layer. First you need to choose purpose. If you want to have title following the object, you have to choose transform. But there's another option that is stabilize. And this is probably usable in some cases but not now. Here you can see what would happen if I had applied this on this footage. At layer you can choose where to assign data that has been taken from tracking. I'm gonna apply this to the text layer. and the text you can change anchor points to move text where you want it to be. Now what you have to do if you want to apply this to flare. When you do all the stuff like creating the flare effect, choosing the point and tracking this, you'll need to create new point and apply tracking to it. Then at light flare options, at hotspot position you can apply tracking from point to the flare. Thanks for watching, this is the final result.